Hey Sagittarius, how are you? Good to see you. I am bringing you a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you're here as a cross watcher, that's fine. Welcome. And for all of you, remember that sometimes you may need to flip the energies around just as long as the storyline resonates, that's what matters. Um, as a general reading for the collective, it may not resonate with everyone, so you just have to take what speaks to you, leave the rest. Sag, we got some interesting stuff going on. Um, first of all, lots of planets have stationed direct. Mercury is wrapping up his um, post-shadow phase, so that's good. We should be feeling a lot of forward motion, but we are now in Scorpio season. So things get deeper. Um, we have to wade through, and even if we try to resist, Sagittarius, even if we try to resist, we cannot um, um, escape our deep our deep held emotions so i just wanted to say that because it's pretty important we also have mars just moved into scorpio on the 26th so even the way you know mars is our embodied self of the action we take so even the way we're moving through the world right now we're not interested in surface level stuff anymore we're, we're really diving deep so i just wanted to make sure you understood that in case you were feeling a little little off okay <clears throat> your <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> your um morning musing for those of you that are in the membership um is really coming through here in this oracle for the full spread but interesting numerology i just want to put a pin in it you got a uh, card 16 in the morning it was um it was goddess from goddess power oracle it was uh, gaia Okay, card 16, one and six is seven. That is talking about our seventh chakra, our thought energy center and our connection, not only to our higher selves, but to the divine within us and our connection to the divine. So that is, is a powerful number. And Gaia was telling you to get grounded as you let go of something, right? There's something that's being released here. So with that said, we're moving into your Oracle. Um, from Oracle of the Seven Energies, you got card 49, Willing Release. So I know that um, 4 and 9 is 13, 1 and 3 is 4. It, fours are about stability and structure and foundations. And that's important, and it kind of goes with the Gaia reference, right? Getting grounded here as you willingly release something. So this is telling you to release attachment to a specific outcome or the form that it takes, right? Whatever it is you're envisioning in your mind, you got to kind of break it up into a million little pixels and let it get fuzzy for a minute and, and focus on, your, on, on the feeling. We're Scorpio, right? Mars is in Scorpio. Sun is in Scorpio. The feeling you're trying to evoke. What is the feeling? you want to feel as part of your outcome um it's time to yield to the divine plan here sagittarius and leave room for a little serendipity uh this is crown chakra as well because um the card is coming from the thought energy center of this particular deck we have here for you from moonology manifestation this is a brand new deck here's the guidebook moonology has its normal moonology deck but she just released brand new release um her manifestation so using the cycles of the moon to manifest and you got first quarter moon in pisces honor your feelings now notice she's sitting here in a meditative lotus position with this mandala between her and the first quarter moon so already i'm getting that seventh energy center the seventh chakra um connection to the honor your feelings and this is telling you um not to ignore your emotions at this time right feel the feels essentially and the reason why here sag is because we create from our emotional body and that's the connection is through our emotions so i love that she's kind of sitting here out on a dock with water surrounding her um, it is also a uh, first quarter moon in Pisces is ruled by Jupiter. We only use the planets that we can see with the naked eye for moon cycles. So your best day for manifestation is a Thursday because Thursday is Jupiter's day. Um, the hour that would be best for you, um, I'm not exactly sure because that's like a mathematical equation, but I would say that it would be before noon. So from the um, for, from the first uh, light of day till around noon on any given Thursday would be a great day 
for setting intentions for what you're trying to manifest, but from anchored from your feelings. Took me long enough to say that. <clears throat> and the last card you got from Shaman's Dream, card 34. Wait for it, three and four is seven. So you've got three sevens here um, from the morning musing here and here. This is Lay of the Land Ancestral Wisdom. Um, this is telling you that even though you may be entering new territory, Sag, it, the path has been, the trail's been blazed before you. Uh, and your ancestors and others um, from your tribe have left clues along the way, have left wisdom there for you to uncover, treasure for you to uncover, and then to make your own. So past lessons that you've learned will help you get the lay of the land if you find yourself in new terrain, but also count on others who have gone before you. So for example, you're here now, you're gaining wisdom from others who have come before you. Take a trip through the comments, see what people have to say about what they've learned. But if you're entering new terrain because you've willingly released something, um, you will be well guided by those who have come before you. So don't hesitate to seek their mentorship or their guidance and honor your feelings. Whew, that was good. I liked your oracle today. Let's take a look at your tarot. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the reading, uh, you'll join us by subscribing. And for those who have been hanging out with me for a while, but just haven't managed to subscribe, please do. I don't ask much. I'm here giving you all this great content and tapping into your energies. And that is a nice energetic exchange that I would greatly appreciate. Okay, here we go. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. <clears throat> Present Energy, Page of Swords. Yes, it is the page. My bad. I, I, sometimes I get confused, but... Um, Page of Swords, looking for new information, sort of in a detached way. Um, not in, It's not an emotional ex exploration here. You're looking for information. It makes me feel uh, like that lay of the land card is popping in here. Like I'm in a new territory. I need to understand things better. Get a handle on it, what's crossing you. All right, we've got the um, Hermit card. So part of this is a solitary journey and that may present a challenge exactly what i'm trying to say by the lay of the land this is the wise the ancient wisdom coming in to help you navigate your way so i see you as the page because this is new territory the pages are novices they're, they're it's younger youthful or less less evolved energy and all i mean by that is not to say you're not evolved but just to say that this is a new situation so you're not as wise yet as the hermit who's coming here to sort of assist you Underneath, we have the Three of Pentacles. So to some degree, there may have been an absence of um, collaborative or co-creative or cooperative energy. Right. A lack of it. And the Three of Swords in the past, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Something did not go well. You got hurt in the process, but you're ready for a new beginning. I love that the card that's crowning you, Sag, is this Ace of Pentacles. It's as if to say, yes, I am in new territory, but I'm going to get the lay of the land quick. And I believe, um, I believe that this will serve me well. So the Ace of Pentacles is potentially looking for up-leveling in your own life, but it could also be within the connection or a new beginning, a second chance with your divine counterpart. And look what we have in the future is the Knight of Cups. So I feel like I'm seeing um, possibly a new beginning in love. There could be new love coming in or an up-leveling of the connection you already have bringing it into the 3d making it something more um I, i'm not even going to say committed but just um like there's an investment both of you have an investment in it three of pentacles looks nice <clears throat> message to you from spirit is the knight of pentacles and that's talking about um making sure you know uh, gauging yourself and pacing yourself on this journey. It is an offer that could be coming in or one you could be delivering, but it's telling you to proceed with caution, right? Make sure you've crossed all your T's, dotted all your I's, that you've double and triple checked. 
not just you know where you're headed but your intentions around it what you're trying to manifest remember all the oracle is telling you you may need to let go of something as you move into this new phase and you'll have to sort of uh, be more cautious and more circumspect along the way thank you energy that may surround you you may be unaware of is the seven of pentacles that's talking about you know seeds being planted and things unfolding organically and there's a great deal of patience but it could also be impatience i'll see with the clarifiers there your biggest fear hopes and fears is the devil energy so there's something that you um are definitely fearing a reprisal of like um <clears throat> some old toxic pattern that broke you down and hurt you once you fear it coming back or that it hasn't let go right and here's the potential outcome ten of cups so i'm looking at the ace of pentacles the knight of cups and the ten of cups and i mean it's just gorgeous it's um very hopeful even though it's new territory for you sag I feel it's super hopeful and um, almost as if your your luck is about to turn is sort of how it feels to me. Very possible since we have, and there's the sun on the bottom, so that's kind of a yes from the universe um, because Jupiter, your ruling planet, did uh, station direct. So, you know, everybody's sense of good fortune and things going in the right direction and Everybody, you know, everybody's getting the big payoff in terms of the efforts and energies they've put in. I feel like it's coming to fruition for you. So let's look at the Page of Swords. Um, sorry about that hiccup earlier with the Hermit. Well, you are looking for, um, you are looking for commitment with the soulmate. And the four of pentacles underneath is just you guarding your heart because, you know, we've already been there. So I feel as if this page of swords is the present energies is you're trying to see if this is even a thing. Does this person want what you want? Three of pentacles. Are they as invested in this connection and ready to take it to the next level? Hierophant, ace of pentacles. So I feel you're looking for that. At the same time, you kind of got your guard up. It's new territory and nobody, and it's almost as if you're kind of alone in this journey. Uh, I feel the hermit energy is not you being reclusive as much as it is you um, moving in the direction, staying on your path and moving toward more, um, pers a sense of personal growth and self-awareness, you know, just more insight on a personal level because this is feeling rather new to you. Three of Pentacles. Two of Wands, Ace of Cups, Two of Swords. Interesting how when we get to the under the cards underneath, which is what's rolling around in your psyche, you're always in this self-protection mode. Um, that, that seems very interesting to me. When the cards coming from the top of the deck, your conscious awareness are very positive and generally uplifting. Um, but you, you're, you're holding some reservation there. Three of Pentacles with the Two of Wands, it's almost like, do you want what I want? That's what I heard you saying before, and now I hear it coming through. Because what? Because you are like the love of my life. Ace of Cups. Two of Swords underneath suggests that either you or your divine counterpart are in undecided. It could go either way. You could be concerned about that since it's underneath. What have you already come through? What lesson have you already learned? Um, that was referenced here in the Lay of the Land card. We've got the Three of Swords <clears throat> with that Page of Swords again. <laughs> okay, so in a way, I feel like curiosity killed the cat here. Page of Swords, right? The, the little spire detective of the tarot. I feel like what you found out kind of did a number on you nine of wands and what you were looking for was again this twin flame soulmate energy and and just the degree to which they are connected to you as you are to them is what 
I think you were looking for. So, you know, maybe checking up on them, trying to see where they are, feeling exhausted by it all, stressed out. It's a struggle. It's heart heaviness coming in, if not heartache or heartbreak. But now we have the Ace of Pentacles in your um, what's crowning you card. And what's crowning you is where you gather your strength to move toward and manifest your desired outcome, which I'm looking at the Ten of Cups. Um, yeah, this is the Lover's card. Again, choice. Card of choice. Will we reunite? Will we not reunite? Four of Cups is um, emotional detachment. It can be a card of rejection. Uh, yeah, so you're going to go slow. I think things may uh, hit a, a bit of a snag or a sense of delay. We've got the Hangman on the Four of Cups because you may not be in emotional. Uh, you may be in a, a phase here, Sag, where there's some emotional detachment between you and your divine counterpart. Even though what you want is this new beginning and this opportunity, someone is keeping you at arm's length. And you have to choose how you're going to proceed. And I feel like the hanged man comes in underneath to say, you know, pump the brakes on this. There's more you need to learn. That's why the Page of Swords is here and the Hermit as well. You're gaining wisdom from all of this, but I feel like it's like you need to put a delay um, self-imposed is what I'm feeling to sort of let things kind of come into flow. I'm seeing that there may be some emotional detachment or, um, I, I even feel a little bit of friend zoning here, like not full out rejection. I'm feeling like someone's keeping you on ice or you're keeping them on ice and you're trying to figure out the next phase. Yeah. Ten of Swords. It did come out in reverse. It flipped over. So I'm going to honor that, which suggests this Knight of Cups coming through. We've got that. The, 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 the worst of the pain of the past is behind you. Um, that Those Ten Swords are slipping out um, <laughs> of your back, for lack of a better phrase. And there's the Ten of Cups coming in. So I feel like this... Um, I'm taking the eight of pentacles because I feel it's like you saying, yeah, no more drama. I'm moving toward the love I want and wish for and desire. And I almost feel like it's saying like you may be the one with the four of cups energy saying with or without you, but I'll wait. I'm going to see what's happening here. Um, so now that gives me a new spin on what's to come. So let's take a look at what spirit the universe has for you knight of pentacles is saying tread carefully <clears throat> yeah don't be impulsive uh the knight of pentacles with the fool kind of control the impulse to just um go in a new direction without enough feedback uh page of wands and the five of swords so i almost feel like um Spirit's telling you not to set yourself up for self, like, don't self-sabotage. Be real methodical and intentional about how you're proceeding. The Fool and the um, Page of Wands are more impulsive, right? They act in the moment, and that's kind of a little bit of Sagittarian MO because you are adventurous and you don't like to stay tied down in one place for too long. Um, you know, you've got that happy wandering energy and you might want it, but you're being told not to set yourself up for a fall there, right? With that fool going off the cliff, I feel like that five of swords underneath is just like a little bit of a warning. Be careful that you don't set yourself up for a bad outcome. Wow. Yes. Oh, I love it. Okay, so here's everything you need to know, Sag. The energy that surrounds you, you may be unaware of. The Divine Masculine has planted the seeds for this new beginning. We got the Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor, the Ace, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles. So the buy-in is there. They're just kind of waiting, th waiting for things to kind of unfold organically. This is somebody who's, who's very patient 
um, in direct opposition to your lack of patience sometimes, Sag. I feel like this, uh, this delay, it may be self-imposed, but now I'm seeing it's possible that the energy could be coming from the divine masculine saying, whoa, 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 uh, I'll know when it's right. I'll know when it's right. But I do feel that they are with you. I do feel like they see the situation the same way you do because we have the Three of Pentacles below, the Ace of Pentacles above, and we've got the same thing here. Three of Pentacles below, Ace of Pentacles from the top of the deck. So you're very mirrored. Your energy is mirrored. I feel like you want the same things. I just am not sure that it's coming in fast enough for you. Um, and that may be making you feel disenchanted with that Four of Cups. And it could be a pattern. Let's look at the hopes and fears. Yeah, you don't want a repeat. You're fearing absolutely a repeat of old toxic patterns. That's the willing release coming in here is coming from the devil, the five of wands, the moon, and the ten of wands. You're really wanting to offload the all old toxic patterns of the past. Um, maybe, you know, maybe with this person, there's been some um, possible control issues or someone, someone else that keeps jumping in the mix and getting in between the two of you like a karmic partner. Either yours, there, theirs, or maybe both of you. I'm just suggesting that that could be one potential um, answer for somebody here. But regardless of whether there's another person involved, there is a pattern here that you're trying to release. And it kind of triggers all your fears and insecurities and your apprehensions. It's too much conflict and drama for you. That's why we have this eight of cups, right? You want the happy, happily ever after. You want the love and the romance and the passion and the sweetness and the sensitivity. What you don't want is um, toxic karmic crap. Been there, as I said before. <clears throat> from wherever that's coming from. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Sag, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, it may be that simple. Um, wow. Still feel you're going to end up with some residual anxiety as to whether or not you're strong enough or grounded enough to move through this very difficult energy that's trying to overtake your happiness. Because that Ten of Cups with um, the Devil energy followed by the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is your grounding. It is your, um, your self-care. It is feeling stable where you stand and solid. You know, like I know where I am and what I'm doing. This lay of the land card suggests you may be in new territory and that may be causing you some um, little sense of anxiety as to what you're getting yourself into. Because you're going for the brass ring. You want the Ten of Cups, but this devil energy is coming twice now. Um, and there's the Queen of Pentacles, which I think would be you trying to stay stable now. Could be, if you are dealing, I'm just going to say it for those, it's a big audience, if what I said was true, if you're dealing with someone where there may be a karmic partner, this person you're dealing with, this masculine could be married. If that is true for you, and if it's not, I'm not telling you that it is. If it's true for you, then it's that simple. That what's standing in the way of your ultimate happiness and what has you so worried and losing sleep at night is... the karmic partner and or long-term partner and or wife of the divine masculine. So I just felt the need to say that because someone here need, needed to hear that. So let me tell you who showed up. We have Virgo in the Hermit. Taurus is the Hierophant. We've got Gemini, Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, Capricorn, Pisces, Capricorn. Queen of Pentacles can be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I just um, feel it represents a, a, a person, not so much a sun sign. 
Okay, my friends, if this is speaking to you, the extended, the link is below, will be all from the perspective of the Divine Masculine. We'll see how they're showing up, their present energy, how they see this situation or what their thoughts are about it, how they feel about you um, and their intentions toward you going forward. I'll also pull a card from Spirit to help you navigate those energies, like you know, guidance on what to do with everything that comes out. And then I'll close out with some additional oracles. So the link's below. I hope to see you there. Otherwise, stay well, Sag, and I will see you in a future reading. Bye for now.